Hi everybody, this is Kali. Today I'm going to show you how to route some strawberry runners into rock wool cubes so that we can go stick it in the air hydroponics tower. So as you can see I've got some nice runners on this plant growing in the planter here and that's what we're going to be using. So what do we need for that? Firstly we're going to need some rock wool obviously. Uh, secondly we're going to need some nutrient solution. Now this is a spe specially formulated nutrient solution that's sold by our Horti shop but you can pretty much get any um, water soluble nutrient solution from your hardware store or big retailer. Next we're going to need some Ziploc bags, a piece of string and scissors to cut the string and then of course a stapler. So let's go. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to pick the runner that we want to um, that we want to root. Oh, this one looks great. Let's just get these out of the way. Uh, we're going to pick the runner that we want to root. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some rock wool, break off a cube of rock wool, and then we're going to dunk it into our nutrient solution. Make sure that it's properly soaked, and then. We're going to make an indentation in the top of the rock wool. I just use my finger because it's actually nicely about the same size as the the lump in the in the runner, if you can see there. So the next step is we're going to take the runner and we're going to push it into that indentation that we've just made. We're going to grab a piece of string. And then we are going to tie this runner to the rock wool so that it stays in there and stays in contact with the rock wool. Otherwise, if it lifts up, the roots are not gonna, it's not gonna root properly. So we just tie it nice and tight onto the rock wool just make a knot here to ensure that it sticks and there we go the next step is to take our Ziploc bag we're going to grab the Ziploc bag we're going to pour a little bit of nutrient solution in the bottom because as you would imagine there's some evaporation going on and this will just hold it moist until such a time as it, as it has uh, had time to actually root. Okay, we stick the Ziploc bag over the runner. We grab our stapler and we just staple it closed on top there. And there we go. There's our runner in a Ziploc bag, in the little rock wool cube with the extra nutrient solution in the bottom. Now all we do is we take this and we put it in a nice shady place somewhere and we leave it. Okay, it's about it's just over three weeks later and we're quickly going to check how our strawberry runner rooting and rock wool is doing. Sure, as you can see this one's actually gone crazy and it's shoot out shot out some other runners that rooted over here and over there but any which way here we go I'm just gonna cut it out um, and there we go and you can see in there see these little roots already coming through in the plastic so our little runner is rooted in the rock wall nicely we just open it up so you can see it properly and that's it nice roots good enough to transplant into any hydroponic system there we go uh, strawberry runner